Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. We are back with Football Manager 2019 and Eastern Resurgence with Berlin FC Dynamo. And uh, today, if all goes to plan, this will be a, a bonus video this week. Um, hopefully going out on Friday. Reason being that um, I only uploaded twice last week, so I'm going to aim for uploading four videos this week. So if things go to plan, this will be going out on Friday. It is quarter to four at the moment on that Friday. So I'm going to record this, edit this and upload it. And I think there's also going to be Bioshock coming up on the second channel as well. So uh, if you don't know about the second channel, it's in the description. At the moment, I've not long started a playthrough of uh, Bioshock from 2007. So go and check that out. Uh, but back to Football Manager and another double live come today. So there is a fair bit to get through. So I don't know when this video will be out. It will be this evening, but I'm not sure when. But another double live come today. And it's two huge matches, both at home, I think. Union Berlin, first of all. Uh, in the Osberlin and Derby, uh, and then uh, we are against Dynamo Dresden, of course, our big rivals from the 1980s uh, in East Germany. So two huge matches today. Uh, we played two matches last episode, um, didn't go too well. For the first time in the league, we failed to score as that we were held by Paderborn 0-0. And then we lost our first league match of the season, losing 2-1 to Fortuna Dusseldorf with Sabotka getting the late winner. Um, it ended our unbeaten run at 17 league games, uh, losing our first match just before our winter break. We couldn't quite get there, but um, yeah. Otherwise, we've been fantastic. I'm amazed that our run lasted as long as it did, because I, I mean, but there's some matches which we really should have lost, um, where you know we, we saved it late on with an equaliser or even a late winner. Uh, so we are fresh off of our winter break. I played um, half a dozen friendlies. Um, against a variety of teams, we've got some big teams in here, we've got some lower division teams in here, uh, but for the most part they were good. Uh, transfer wise, we haven't signed any first team players, but we have got some decent youth players in, so I'll have a quick look at those. Uh, so we've got three youngsters that we've brought in that will hopefully make their way into the first team, um, maybe in the next couple of years. And we'll start off with Gentian Zakiri, who is uh, Albanian, although I think he is joint nationality with Germany, he can speak German. And uh, yeah, he's eligible for Albania and Germany. He is a young left back, um, some decent attributes. Uh, what is he, 17 years old? His marking and tackling is not bad, 12 and 13. Uh, some decent mentals in there, a bit aggressive, so maybe try and tone that down a bit. Uh, good stamina and did fairly quick for his age. Uh, we've signed him from Mannheim for £13.25,000. Uh, like I said, he I don't know how much he'll play, um, like sort of off the bat, but. Give him a couple of years, he could be good. All these players have got five-star potential. That's part of the reason signed, we've signed them, because they've got that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully um, he'll turn into a good left-back. Benjamin Filter has joined. He's 16. He is a, a right-sided midfielder, winger. Got some good split underline attributes. Very pacey, uh, only 16, which is good. Um, dribbling is not too bad at 11. Technique's good as well. Mentals are they're, they're pretty solid. They're okay. Uh, he was signed from Armenia Bielefield. £65,000 is the fee. He's not earning much at the moment. He's just on his uh, youth contract. But um, yeah, uh, again, a youngster that maybe in a couple of years will be good. Um, because of the employment laws in Germany, you can't actually play um, until you turn 17. So I think if you're under 17 on the 1st of January of this year, then you can't play, you can't be registered. So all these players that we're buying, like this guy, he's never going to be able to play for us because of the laws. Even if we go into the top division, you can't play like 16-year-old players in like the league because of the employment laws in Germany, which sucks because the next guy is 15 and he's already two and a half star. Kevin Akershot is also a right winger. He's 15 years old. He was born on 2008. He's got two and a half star current ability and... Again, some of the attributes are really, really good. Physically, he looks great and he's already really, really quick. Uh, technique of 13 is very good. Decision making is good. Looks very sort of very level headed player. Work rate's good. Decent flair, brave. We're going to have to wait like two years to play him. Hopefully, in that two years, he can maybe get better and hopefully that um, potential doesn't drop off because that's the issue with, play with buying these young players is you can't play them. There's every chance that um, they're not going to develop because they're not getting football you can't even send them out on loan unless you maybe send them out to a foreign club but there's very little interest in our players so we're not sending anyone out on loan uh that's all that's happened um leander Bayernlich has gone on loan to Babels babelsberg for the rest of the season he's not getting played so i've just thought let's send him out and try and get in some football uh but we have returned uh simon halbrook the center back back to the club from his loan spell Anyway, let's jump into match one of two today, the Osberlina derby. Uh, so Hollerback is injured. He's going to be out for up to three weeks with a, a knee injury. 
Uh, Demelt's coming back from an injury. He'll be back in a few days from a rib injury. Max Fuchs is still out for a few weeks with his broken leg. Uh, Paradis, he's not long come back from his uh, injury. Uh, I think it was a, that uh, stress fracture, lower back stress fracture. So he's close to a return. Other than that, I think we're okay. We're a bit low of options on the right-hand side, it seems, though. We've just got a Greisel because we have no Hollaback. We have no Paradisi. And we can't play our new players because they're not old enough. So, you know, I'm going to put Jens Wiebman on the bench. He is a right winger, so he is someone that could actually play. We're going to also have Abling on the bench. He's yet to play a game for us. I mean, to be honest, I forgot I signed him for a while. And uh, he's just never been fit. But now he's fully fit. He is actually a, a, a natural playmaker. Um, so we could actually give him a start, which I think I'm going to do. We're going to start um, Ablinger today. So the bench, uh, Agdari, Halili, Franke, Presthofer, uh, Reedman, Urkic, Tezurek. Um Actually, we'll go Selkos in place of Urkic as well. Urkic is going at the end of the season, absolutely. So a big game here. I think we're going to be close to a sellout for this one, which would be good. Last match we played, last competitive match. Lost our first game of the season in the league. So hopefully that's not the start of a downward spiral, but we've had a good winter break. The team's in good fitness, so we should be okay, hopefully. Let's just try and get the result here. If we can go like the rest of the season unbeaten again, another 17, fantastic, and we'll easily be promoted. But let's see what happens here. It's, uh, Union Berlin in possession is stealing to Mensa. Benetel goes for goal, and ooh, off the top of the bar. Corner for us, Kircher, it's in. And, um, well, no one really attacked it. And then, oh, that, oh, that's lucky. Oh, and the keeper didn't even get to it. Grysel with the goal. Absolutely fluke. He knew nothing about it. Uh, the ball just bounced off him and into the goal. And the keeper was well off his line. Let's see this again. Because that was a bizarre goal. One of the weirdest goals I think you're ever going to see. Mies goes for the clearance. It bounces off of um, Grysel and into the goal. Grysel scores his first goal of the season. And he didn't even mean to. And the keeper, Busk, was well off his line. So we've been gifted a goal there. Grysel. Going to play someone through. Goes for Brasnich. McConnon. Oh, and Kabea surely is going to score that. And he's offside. It's been disallowed. But we've had the ball in the net a couple of times. Once counted. This one does not. Brasnich goes for goal. Yeah, he, he was a little bit offside. McConnon hits the bar. And then, yeah, Kabea puts it in. But not going to count. But a good half. Um, Union haven't had a shot on target yet. So we are... Well on top. Straight into the second half we go. No need to change anything. We've just gone to balance instead of positive. Just try and play a bit safer, really. Then we got to the hour. Still well on top. Berlin have not really threatened. They've had a couple of uh, warning shots, I'd, I'd probably say, call them. A couple of cards for us, I think, is the only concern. A couple of people on yellows. Kircher, Kabea, I think maybe McConnell as well. I don't know. Stealing. Clearance. And uh, Osterman, also on yellow. We've got a good three players on yellow cards, so maybe need to start making some changes and uh, hopefully not get any reds. Grysel, that's a good cross. Kabea, surely! Oh, we should be about 3-0 up in this match. It's unfortunate that's the case. Right, so we've got three booked players out there. So we can look at bringing off... We don't have a right-back on the bench. That's a mistake. Um, and I've got Weedman, but he's not really a right-back. Kabea's had a quiet game and he's been booked. So we're going to bring on Tezurek. Running a fine line here. It's only 1-0. Berlin haven't really been in the game. But all it's going to take is one goal for us to like drop points. Benatel, Come on, get it off of here. But don't get any bookings because we've already had too many. Mies. Bergreen. Oh, and it's a goal. That's what I mean. They only need one. And it's suddenly 1-1. And that's their first shot on target, I think. So, yeah, we've been penalised because we just haven't finished them off. We haven't really de delivered that killing blow. We made it 1-0, but other than that, haven't really done too much. Philip Ossel, of course, is going to come on for uh, Kola. I'm going to bring on Franca for McConnell. Going to be a, my last change. We'll stay as we are. Like It's going to be another match without losing. Unless we score this late chance here. Bergreen with a clearance and Mies and Tuerpitz. Now, there could be a chance for a winner here. We've still got injury time to play. Tim Kircher on the ball. Reculi. Ablinger. Franker. Ablinger again. Thought we'd lose out there. Grysel. Scored that goal. A fluky goal as well. That's the only goal that we have. And he went for goal himself there. And trying to score a second. But Busk gets to that. Still got four minutes of injury time. And we're one into that. Union Berlin coming forward here. I really hope they don't win this match. Turpitz. Come on. <sighs> Hendel, you are worrying me, man. Highlights in injury time. That's well won by Julius Franke. 
And is he going to go for goal? He is. But uh, Buck makes the save. Busk, sorry. It's not Buck. This is a dogged last few minutes. Hendel. Hendel's dropped. H Hendel's dropped. I'm sorry. Under no like, how long did he have to clear that? Then what are you doing? Oh my god, he has been for five and a half seasons, one of our best players. I can't believe it. We've lost back to back matches after winning, being unbeaten for the first seventeen. We've just lost at home to our local rivals. He had all the time in the world to clear that. There was a minute left in the game. Go, take the draw. He could have just put that anywhere. That form is suddenly looking really bad. We've won one of our last five. Deary me. I don't know where this has come from. I did a team meeting after that after that loss, saying that we've had a really good first half. If we have just as good a second half, we'll get promoted. It's the curse of the team meeting. Every time I do one, our form just takes a turn down. It takes a downturn. Hendel's contract's up at the end of this season, and I'm sorely tempted to not renew it. Like, he's been here for six seasons at this point. For the most part, he's been incredible. He's been he's been stunning. Like the amount of saves he's pulled, some of the ratings he's got, fantastic. Okay, right. Two questions: One, what was our attendance for that Union Berlin match? And two, have we beaten them yet in this uh, series? Did we beat them earlier in the season? Uh, no, we did. We beat them two 0 What was the attendance in the end? Uh, it was fifteen thousand, so it was a sellout. So that's at least good. Fifteen thousand people watched us lose to our rivals. I'm going putting them down as a minor blip, so I'm not going to drop him. We're going to stick with him, but if he does it again, he's dropped. If he can average over 7.0 this season, I'll renew his contract. If he can't, he's gone. So that's a challenge for Bernard Hendel. Rate highly, you can stay. If you don't, you're off. And another mistake like that, Marcuri is coming in and he's number one. And then we have to buy a first-team goalkeeper for the Bundesliga, which hopefully will be easy enough. But I'm wondering if our goalkeeper can handle the pressure and get his form back up. All right. On to the home game against Dynamo Dresden. We need an improvement. We haven't won in three matches. So things need to change here. Um, team news. Uh, Frank is going to replace the injured McConnon. Uh, we will add a middle stat onto the bench. Austin suspended. So Halili will go in there. We're going to go with uh, Markovsky at left back though. I'm going to Paradisi on the bench in place of Weedman. Seeing as he's now seemingly back. All right. Want to see some improvements, guys. Hopefully this one will be better than the last game okay off we go hopefully it'll be another sellout here but i don't care how many fans we have i just want to win this one really and an early throw in here uh, less than a minute played that's a good sign grisel's got it and that's a cross and cola and that took 49 seconds that's the start we want thank you could be back to winning ways here cola scores in less than a minute and grisel gets an assist maybe i've been overlooking him all season he's barely played because paradise has been brilliant but his injury seems to have um four day Opportunity for Grysel to impress, and he's got a goal and an assist. I mean, the goal was a fluke, but he's got a goal and an assist in his last two. Could have asked for a better start, and a corner here with uh, less than four minutes played. And uh, Frank has got it on the edge of the 18 yard box here, and he's slid out by Otto. And uh, Otto now on the attack. And this could be a quick equalizer for Dresden. Moschel to uh, Nezhevic. And he's brought down by Kircher, and it's a penalty. Four minutes in. Kirch, is he going to get booked? No, it doesn't look like it. Now, Hendel, are you going to save a penalty? You've never saved one. And he still hasn't. Six, season six. Hendel's never, sa we've never had a penalty saved in five and a half seasons, still. I don't know how many he's faced, but we have never had a penalty saved. And that one, I mean, he went the right way, but he, he wasn't really near it. Halili cuts it out, but gives it back to Zarkowski. Not a great clearance. And Franka all the way back to Hendel, don't you dare. Hendel! What? No! He's dropped. I'm sorry. No. Are you kidding me? Two games in a row. He's turned in a... <laughs> Hendel. Has my goalkeeper been abducted by aliens and replaced? What is going on? All right, half time. After a brilliant start, a penalty and the Hendel show means we're losing. 
Abling has not been good this game, so Prestov is going to come on straight away. I would replace Hendel, but I don't have keepers on the bench. So he's playing the rest of this game. In the next match, he's getting dropped. That's it now. Marcure is coming in. Hendel's finished. There's no way he's coming back from that. Merlin possession now for Dynamo Dresden. Zerkovsky hits the post and Rakuli clears. What's happened to my team? 57 minutes. Schubert with uh, the goal kick for Dynamo Dresden. Markovsky forward to Kohler. Franka gives it back to Kevin Kohler. And he's done well there and won the ball back. Now you've got five or well, six players on the attack here. Grisel! Oh, God. Right, change number two. Um, I mean, the back line's not being good, but I, I need, we need attacking changes. Brasnich is going to come off. Tajurek's going to come on. Kohler with a free kick here. 63 minutes. Rikuli. Oh, it's off target. Come on, guys. We're not losing again. We can't lose three in a row after the first half of being unbeaten. That's just not on. We're pretty much going to go 4-1-5 and just go for it. Three minutes some time, though. We're running out of time. And we're going to lose again. Because of our goalkeeper, pretty much. Hen Hendel's dumb. Hendel's dumb. That's it. He's dumb. Get out of my team. Where where has this come from? This has come out of absolutely nowhere. We lost well, the last match of the winter break. And since then, we, we just haven't recovered. We've had a winter break. And we just we we haven't recovered. And remarkably, we're still winning by five points. We're still top of the table. We've got three teams below us on 36 points, but we've lost three in a row. We've won one of our last five. Where on earth has this come from? All right, so let's have a look at our upcoming fixtures. Then I think we're just going to do the nice simple five games off screen, and we'll come back for the next live com. So that will be Karlsruhe on uh, March the 9th, home game. Hopefully get some more wins because the way we're going at the moment, we aren't going to get promoted because suddenly we can't win matches anymore. I don't know what's happened. But anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, do drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. Follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I'll see you next time. I'm going to take on Karlsruhe. We need to get back to winning ways because I'm not sure what's happened to my team that after going unbeaten for 17 matches, suddenly they can't win and they've lost three in a row. But yeah, Carl's room next time. Um, let's try and get back to winning because, yeah, I'm fed up with this. But Hendel's dropped. He's done. There's, uh, there's no coming back from that. Um, he's out of contract at the end of the season. And uh, we're going to play Mark Urie for the rest of the season, unless he's worse. If he starts making mistakes, we might have to go back to Hendel. But... For the foreseeable future, Mark Hero is going to be playing in goal. But, um, for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.